Okay, we're going handheld here just to show that I am going all the way around the perimeter and re-gluing that lamination. The lamination is loose about that deep into it, um, all the way around. And so I take a paintbrush and, well, I opened it up with wedges first and then took a paintbrush, painted it down in there and then go around and just clamp it shut. It should be, well, better than it was. That's the best I can say. Will I get every square piece? Like here's a piece here. Some of it I'm gonna fill with super glue and work on it with super glue to try to finish it up. Down here you can see, down here you can see it's still real loose. Got to do quite a bit of fixing in that area. You can see it's quite a, quite a large chunk there. So it was in horrific shape to say the best. I mean, that's, that's the best I can say about it. It was, it was in just terrible shape. Maybe the worst I've ever seen for a top. I've had a lot of people come in here and go, are you sure you can really repair that? You know, but actually I think it'll be fine when I get it done. I mean, from the outside it looks halfway decent. It, uh, it's gonna look okay, I think. It's got, it's got some nicks and chips and stuff even on the outside, but uh, the lady says she likes it that way, so we're just gonna leave it that way and fix her back up. The worst part of it is this deep dent right here. I was really hoping to get that dent out, but uh, it's still in there. It's a pretty deep dent. I improved it a lot, but I didn't get it all the way out. <clears throat> if I knew it wouldn't interfere with the sound post, I'd put a, a brace inside here and, and force that up, but I'm afraid it would interfere with the sound post. Well, that's the status of it for the moment. Okay, here's the latest on the base. <clears throat> It looks like heck, I gotta be honest, when you're looking at the underside of this thing. But I <coughs> have held it up by the brace and I've tapped on it everywhere and I don't hear any more rattles. So I believe I've got all the laminations down tight. The, on the top side, and it's a little hard to show with all these clamps on here, but on the top side there was still a real depressed area, a real low spot in the top here that had sunk in. The picture's just barely getting in here. So anyway, this area here was very low, right in this spot right here. And originally, there was a crap, it was a low spot all the way across here. I got that pretty much straightened out when I fixed the brace on the base side, the base bar. But anyway, it's still low here, and I just couldn't hardly live with that. So what I did was, I cut out a kidney shaped piece of plywood that's about a half inch thick not, a, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't plywood, it's maple kidney shaped piece of maple and I rough rounded the back side of it so that it kind of matches the contour of the inside of the base now I've got that glued in place to help push that plywood uh, back out on the top side once this is glued, now that it's glued, uh, once it uh, dries, I'll take a plane and a sander or whatever and just kind of round it back off down to, to the edge. And hopefully that's going to hold at least, at least it'll keep it from sinking in any worse. For sure it'll do that. And hopefully it'll have it pushed back out to where it's just barely low, if anything at all now. I, it might be level, but I doubt it's completely level. At least it'll be a lot better. Well, and then just to give you a time scale, right now it's Thursday about 11.10, and this base has to be on stage Friday evening, tomorrow evening at 7. So I've got my work cut out for me, but I'll, uh, I believe I'll still make it. We're going to get her done. Okay, we're going handheld here, and you can see that I went ahead and put the top back on the base. I, uh, you can see all the clamps I have. Wouldn't hurt if I had another half a dozen clamps on it. It's been sitting overnight and uh, it's ready to uh, declamp and uh, to see what we can do about setting it up. That extra brace I put in here really helped that area. Yeah, you can still feel a dished out low spot right there, but it's nowhere near like it was. That used to be, I would say from a level surface, that was probably three quarters of an inch low at one time, all the way across here actually. So uh, much, much, much better. Not perfect, but much better. And I would say we basically salvaged a top that 
I would say, and I don't mean to brag, but I'd say eight out of 10 other luthiers would have thrown it in the trash because it was really that bad. It really was. Okay, I'm gonna do something that, it, that it's not called for, but uh, this fretboard, it's wore pretty bad. It's a, it's a uh, maple fretboard or some other wood with black <laughs> dye over it. It's got some real deep grooves down through it. I don't know why they're just snaked along like this down through here. So I've already started just lightly scraping some of the color off of it. And you can see the different marks going everywhere. It had a glob of glue or paint or something here which was sticking up high and when you try to clean that off well then you know it shows up so anyway i'm just going to go ahead and lightly scrape all of the finish off of this and smooth the whole fretboard back down and then re-dye it black it won't take very long but it'll sure make it look a lot lot better it'll only take me maybe 15 minutes to do the whole thing Oh, I see what the glue is. Looks like they might have put a pin in there. There's a low spot. I'll be darned. I can't understand why they would do that. I don't know. People do crazy things with instruments. It's amazing. Anyway, we'll clean her up and bring you back when we get her dyed, smoothed and dyed. Okay, you can see you've got the fretboard all cleaned off. Um, really smooth feeling now. I sanded it down to 320, which in my opinion is good enough on wood finishes. Um, really nice, smooth, slick. And uh, now we're gonna take this black leather die and uh, brush and just wipe it on here and uh, probably take two coats to do a good job to make it really dark and smooth dark and consistent I should say and we'll have to get along the edges there in a little bit too I'll have to turn it over sideways and get real specific on that the video is getting too long so I'm not going to film all this I just wanted to show you what I do and how I do it and we'll bring you back. Well, we got her all back together. It's gonna be on stage yet this evening. Can't believe it. Here it is about, what, 3.30, something like that. Got her ready for stage for a 7 o'clock show. Now that's what you call cutting it right down to the wire. Hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you.